Welcome to PC Wiz Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how to prevent a disaster by backing up your Windows system files. If you have them backed up, you could always restore them. So go into the backup program from Windows. I have Windows XP here. We'll just go into NT Backup if we just type that in the run field. Or you can go to Accessories, System Tools, and then launch the backup from there. Now we don't want to launch the wizard, okay? We want to uh, launch the advanced mode of the backup program that comes with Windows XP. So go into there and we're going to choose the first option. There are three options in here that do different, slightly different things, right? And um, we obviously don't want to restore. In this video, we're just talking about backing up your system files only. And so we're going to click on the first icon here at the top. So after you do that, we want to go through the screens here and specify a few details. So the first thing is we don't want to back up the entire PC because that would obviously need a, you need a lot of space. Just the system files, your registry and the main, the main files, right? Select the drive where you want to back it up, right? So as you go through the screens, it'll ask you, okay, where? Choose a drive. In this case, I'll put an F. Uh, put in a name for the backup, right? So uh, I usually put the, the date of uh, when the backup is being done so that way I know um, by the date but uh, you can put in anything you want in there right so um, we'll just put in any uh, sample date here just quickly and um, so after you put in uh, a name just continue to the next screen and um, you can see here there's a summary of what's going on and uh, then you can just um, click on uh, the finish button there at the bottom after you're satisfied with, uh, with your selections Okay, and then uh, the next thing is to watch it go. It, it'll take anywhere from a minute to a few minutes, depending on how much uh, your system has to back up and how fast your PC is. Okay, so um, let it go. Let it back up its its uh, system files. In this case, um, it shouldn't take too long. It's just the system files that we're selecting. After it's done, you'll get uh, the backup is complete, and then you can close this window. Now. Uh, if you ever want to schedule this, you can schedule this uh, to happen on a regular basis and also specify it to replace the previous backup so that way you don't keep using up space on your PC. So click on the Schedule Jobs tab here at the top of the backup program and then choose a date, right? So let's say every Friday or, or this Friday uh, coming up you wanted to um, schedule a job. So you add a job and you go through the screens to select only backing up the system files for that job same drive, pick a name, obviously um, the name for this Friday job, I'll call it Friday Backup, right? And then uh, click on Next. And then, uh, and then after you're done with that, select the option to replace the existing backup so that way you don't keep accumulating all these backup files occupying space. You always want it to replace the, the, the latest one. And then um, Obviously after that, we uh, put in the name here that we want to schedule this job for and uh, uh, as I mentioned, the, the entry that's going to appear on the calendar will say Friday Backup. And then uh, put in your Windows password, the one that you use to log in to your PC. Okay, You need to be uh, authorized to do this, so obviously you need to put it in and then finish. Um, so that's basically how you set it up and uh, back up your system files in case you know you get a corrupted registry or anything like that you can always restore that back onto your onto your PC so enjoy and thank you for watching